Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 18 years old, I started watching the cops television show religiously every Saturday night. I started watching the officers, what they did, how they dealt with people and the type of work they do. And it held my interest until I was old enough. When I became 21 years old, I tested for the Glendale Police Department and started working for them and worked for them for two and a half years and then came out to the Mesa Police Department where I've been for five years now and uh, been here ever since. We've got a unit that's behind a stolen vehicle a couple miles out now and it sounds like the vehicle's pulling into an apartment complex and the officer's advising, looks like they're going to foot bail on him. We're about a mile and a half out. We're going to see if we can help him out. The vehicle that ran from this officer has now been located in an apartment complex up here on Main Street. Uh, they found it abandoned, and now they've got a unit that's located the driver uh, just east of the, com the complex, just east of the abandoned stolen vehicle. So we're going to go up there and uh, see if we can help get him into custody and maybe set up a perimeter and lock him in to a, an area so we can't go ahead and <laughs> take him into custody. <laughs> This officer just put out an emergency call. 913 5448, Main Town 807. Stop resisting! Put your hands on your back! Hey, I'm not fighting! Hey, I'm not fighting! Yes, you are fighting! Put your hand back there. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, okay. I'm not fighting. I really have everything. Oh. Do not move. Have... Do it now. Okay, okay. okay now please cover me. Please, Do not move. Please don't hurt me. Uh. Okay. Sorry. Uh. Okay. I have emphysema. I don't want to fight. I just have a real bad time Cut bleeding. Back. I'm Do I have to have Yes, just let me get him out of the doorway. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm not fighting Then stop doing it! I'm not doing it. I'm in. Cover that door with you. We don't know. Why didn't you clear that room? My cuffs are laying on the corner. I'm in, officer. I'm not going to struggle. You've been struggling since we got here. I can't breathe in my... Do not get up. Please. Do not get up. Do not push on my back and I won't, please. I swear. I I'm in, officer. I'm not going to struggle. I'll just keep this channel 10-3 for now. Yeah, I copy that thing. Here at room 110 at the Western Air Motel, is that correct? Yeah, it's 10-4. Copy that, you copy that? Stand by now. Stand by now. Where'd you guys find him at? I came up here and Duke had him at gunpoint. Through the window. He didn't see me on this corner. He opens the door. I grabbed him, and I grabbed him. He started fighting us. Mike sprayed him. It didn't affect him at all the first time. Sprayed him again, still didn't affect him. He got up. Both of us arrested him on the ground. He managed to get up and run inside the con in, in the apartment. Tackled him in there, brought him back out, because we didn't know who was in the back room. Got a bunch of dope, looks like, on the bed in there. So then he continued fighting us here on the ground. Well, you all right? Yeah. 
They still haven't got the passenger. Ted, well, who's in the area 474? You're probably looking for that passenger. Just like so. So, who do you need to get one? Yeah, he tried. He wanted back in here real bad for some reason. I don't know why. Do you have an ID on him? Uh, Walter, I didn't have time to do that. We've got some ammunition there and some drugs and drug paraphernalia. It looks like a bunch of credit cards that don't belong to. Uh... Oh, here's a gun case here. And secure this until we know what's going on. Here's gonna be laying on the floor here. Oh, what he's trying to get to? He's got a. Uh, we're, we're on the floor, was it? Just lying right there next to the chair. That's what he was. Cause he got up here. Mike was trying to clear the building. He's on the floor where? I chased him in here and tackled him right by that chair, and he was reaching over that way. So, so he's trying to he's get got the 38. Gun. 38 special. <coughs> Looks like we got. Several credit cards with the different people's names on it. Probably all going to be stolen credit cards from this guy. We've got a. We're, we haven't searched the room really, but we've got uh, firearm ammunition, firearms. We've got guns, drugs, stolen credit cards, stolen cars, and an extremely violent and upset suspect who didn't want to go to jail tonight. The room's clear. There's nobody inside, so I need to go over where the stolen cars at because there's a bunch of property in there, and I don't know what's in the car. So. So, who do you need to, well, you to stay here? Yeah, I need at least two guys stay here. One's he's, got the driver. He's going to stay here with the driver. Yeah, I need at least maybe one guy, if not two, stay here with the room. And I want to run over to the 509. I'm going to run over to the 509. Yeah. Get a, we'll get a CST and route over to you. Are you okay right now for for this scene right here? I mean, is there anything else we need to do no, here? No, that's All it. Right, so I'm, just I'm pretty much figured out the passenger will probably, he's gone, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's go in car here and see what they need any help over there. and. Take a look at that. It looks like they bailed out right up here at the beginning of the complex. This it looks like you may have some burglary. That's what I'm thinking. Back here. Yeah, it looks it's like just a matter of time of going through the property. I'm waiting for the CST to get here to televisions and purses and backpacks yeah. and you got a what a pipe yeah. torch well, up there. Well, their driver's got a warrant too. Does he? Yeah. So as soon as I jump the fence and yell, identify myself as police, he takes off running for that room. And once we get over there, we end up getting to a, once he finally come out of the room, we get into a fist fight with him. So we end up using pepper spray, and that didn't work. So the passenger got away, but we don't really care about him right now. So. Yep, right on. We so got the bad guy. We're good to good go. Job. The originally I'm from the, the Midwest, from Chicago area, and uh, once I came into the army, the army kept sending me to one desert after another. Uh, after I got out of the uh, the military, or when I knew that I would leave in the military I decided that I wanted uh, someplace uh, dry and sunny and uh, the, the desert is just a, a gorgeous spot to, to live we're going to uh, a residential area the call is a, a check welfare apparently there's a black bear up in a palm tree you know, a bunch of people were gathered around it trying to throw rocks at it to get it to come down it's right around the corner here there's another unit there. They've got the spotlight on uh, on the tree so that they can see what's going on. And we're just rolling up on it now. Fishing game's coming down. We just checked with the zoo, and it's not a zoo bear. <laughs> a bear in a palm tree in Arizona. Go That's right. In, in the middle of uh, the middle a series of, of apartment <laughs> complexes. Yeah, All right, that's, <laughs> that's, well, that's what I'm wondering, because, you know, it's really odd to have a bear right here, so I'm really wondering if you I'll try to get the ladder over here, I guess. I'm going to get up there and see if I can maybe just noose it out of the tree. Somebody was asking what what happens when it, if it gets out. 
It's going to come down. It's going to tree again as quick as it can. A little okay. bear like that's not going to be a real. It's not going to be a safety hazard. I mean, you guys can do a good job of keeping everybody back anyway. Okay. It's not going to be biting people. It's going to be running like crazy to try to, to, try tree try to find a place, place to hide. If it comes out of here, it's going to go right back up another tree. Okay. Oh, probably famous last words, but that's been my experience. So you're going to go up there and try to noose it. I'm going to go up and try to noose it. Liz, Corey, you guys wonder if we can just have like a, just a soft perimeter. Okay, if he does come out, he's going to want a tree again. But we just we just stay this way, so if he does come, we can scare him back this way for a tree. Ron and I will go for the, the front of the valley. Well, well just watch the there. crowd. Brian, I'd rather have you stay close by. Just you know, I don't care if you have to do a ricochet off the ground okay. to scare it back. That was outstanding. Around so you don't have so far to go vertically. Okay. Come on, folks, a little elbow room. Corey, could you give me? Can we give? We need like another tenth. Five, ten feet. Okay, folks, we need to try to back, we need to back up a little bit so we get the bear off. Okay. Just back to about the other side of the sidewalk. Give the fire department a little bit of room. Okay, With this cage up on there, you want to bring him down. Got it? Okay. You just keep his teeth away from my. Watch those claws. Watch the, watch the claws. Watch the claws. You're watch right your hands, right. Liz. You're all right. Get your push. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. There we go. Yeah. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Okay, I'm going to just stand it right okay. back up here. Put it on you. Put it on in. Watch your fingers. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. All black. They're just showing up everywhere. I suspect they're either orphaned because the conditions have been so bad. It's been dry for a couple of years. It's been really dry conditions. So they're either orphaned or mom just kicks them loose and says, sorry, I can't take care of you anymore. And so they're just out on their own. So. You think you're going to top that one tonight? No. Think you're going to top that one this week? I could. You think you could? I could. I don't. Tucson, anything could happen in Tucson. Oh, yeah, sure. I started looking for a job whenever I got out of the Air Force. And uh, I started as a reserve with the city of Tucson just to feel if that's what I wanted to do. And uh, as a result, hey, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, 
Uh, there's nothing more than rewarding than uh, being a police officer. We uh, responded to an individual who's been shot, uh, 5,000 block South Country Club. We're requesting meds ASAP. We have people running from the scene. No more units 23 right now. It's a bullseye on the vehicle. It's a small neon, red or blue. We want to see if we can get him from this side. Southbound on Country Club. Okay, here we are. 2212. Let's go see what's going on. Is she all right? Dad gummit. Where are we taking her? Yes. Have them come this end. Okay. One Lincoln North. Lincoln North. Let's have meds 1018 to the south uh, entrance of the complex. We have a child that's been hit. Four meds has been advised to move in on the south side of the parking lot. 10 4, move them in. Block this off. Block this off. Nobody gets in. I'm Lincoln King. You got her? Hang in there. Oh. You want me to take her? Yeah. You're going to be all right. Okay. okay, you'll be okay, okay? Okay. Okay. You got her? Yeah. Okay, yeah, throw it through. Dead coming. Where do you hurt your stomach? Okay. One med unit under me. Okay. You have, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You got a blanket? Yeah. You need a blanket? Uh, okay. Got it. Wrap it around her. I'm gonna put it right underneath you. Okay, hang in there, sweetheart. Okay, you're gonna be all right. Okay, meds is coming 23 now. Med Every broadcast of the suspect vehicles can be a small neon red or blue in color left in east section southbound on Country Club. Okay, Lincoln King, Lincoln King. Lincoln King, Lincoln King. This is one. to shooting children now. Crime scene tape. We're going to tape off the area. We got two down in the car. Looks like they're 10-7. John, can you get that bag set up for me? I have any ID on him. Danny, run the... Is John alive? Is he Is that clear? Negative. We only have one more suppression. The only suppression you're around is 1010. The number three lady over here is the one who saw the car, but she didn't see anybody shooting. All she said, she heard shots, she came out here, the car was backing out, and it took off. So we need to go find her because she disappeared on me. We, we got another witness says he went up there and made a U-turn and then came out. We have uh, three victims uh, of gunshot wounds, uh, one being a child and uh, one being an adult male and an uh, adult female. Uh, other than that, we're, we're pretty unsure of what's going on. We've got to talk to uh, witnesses so, and see if we can find out what was the cause of all this. What did you see when you got here? 
melee. Everybody running back and forth? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where, yeah. where was the little girl? By the stairs over there. Uh, yeah. There was another lady that had her. I talked to her. She, as a matter of fact, uh, she's going to be wait to, she's waiting to be interviewed. Okay. She's sitting right over there uh, but, next uh, to the thing. Uh, she was the only one that was moving. Yeah. The other, I guess her parents were both down, so. The, the baby's parents? Yeah. yeah. How old was the baby? She's uh, not a baby. She's probably five. You think? She was talking to me, so yeah. four or five. Yeah, uh, we have some shell case. We have some shell case. No, we we don't. Uh, we're st we still have the outstanding number three, who actually seen the individual running from here, and jump into a car, and uh, and high speed uh, exit here. Okay, where where she is, we don't know. Uh, no, I'm being told that she's a slim. Uh, wearing she's heavy set. She's heavy set, according oh. to. Uh, uh, Kevin, she's heavy set. Okay, okay. So keep that in mind. Then I'll go that way. I'll get Looking help for him. Okay. okay. Well, I was kind of watching her apartment to make sure she didn't leave. You want to keep an eye on her? Okay. Yeah, All this. right. So. Not more, much more we can do here. Yeah, no. Other than that, that's it. That's yeah. yeah, other than that, that's all we have. Kathy say she saw some, somebody running, or she's just saying something? We pulled up. Yeah. 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 Scattering. Yeah. Uh, Kathy, is there anything else that uh, you need from me? I don't think so. We have the detectives on scene now, and they're basically taking over the investigation. Okay. Uh, my the last word I got is the uh, the little girl. It looks like she's going to make it. She's in surgery right now, so if God's willing, she'll pull through. Good. I'm glad so. to hear.